everyone and welcome to my channel Hisame Artwork. This is going to be the winter farm tour and it is the last tour I'm gonna do for now. Um, in the list I think it's gonna be the penultimate uh, uh, video. Uh, there's nothing uh, too spectacular to show you now in uh, winter. Uh, this is the uh, water obelisk. I reskinned as uh, Totoro. Uh, this is the earth obelisk. I reskinned as a Christmas tree. There we go. This is the house. So this house um, I did it myself. Uh, you're not gonna find a mod with it. Uh, I did use the se seasonal immersion mod, so you can see in my other video it changes each season, it looks uh, different. Okay, let me show you the little uh, gardening area here. So this is mint, this is a crop mod, it grows in winter. I don't know why mint would grow in winter, I'm not that very good with uh, plants, <laughs> I am a graphic artist. So, uh, what I have put here is a pine tree um, decoration, so I have it here, let me show you, with the item spawner. So it is a retextured house plant craftable item. I wasn't able to find a pine tree uh, crop mod, so this is why I uh, uh, had to do this. Uh, Compromise. Uh, also, let me unfreeze time. There's going to be a winter festival. Uh, no, the ice fishing festival. So I want to show you guys how I do my fishing because I've seen a lot of people uh, complain that fishing is very hard. So I'm gonna try and give you some of my tips on how to do it. Uh, this is juniper berry. I don't know if they're edible in real life. Maybe they can be used as decoration, just like holly. Uh, elderberry, which also I didn't know is something that is done in, in winter. Um, I tried to add my own crops, but unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, create a mod with zucchini I tried. Um, so I think what I'll do is just retexture some things. I don't know, there's going to be an update uh, with the whole game, so that will change a lot of things. And we'll see what happens. But for these three crops, uh, I put a link in the pin comment below, and you can find those uh, on Nexus mods. It's called custom crops, and I think they're the crops from the longevity mod. Here I have crops that I grow in the other seasons. Uh, here I planted some. Um, uh, uh, wild seeds, winter wild seeds, uh, or I think winter seeds, I'm not sure exactly the name. I can't reach the boxes there anymore, as you can see. <laughs> you can't pass them. Initially, I wanted them to be for each uh, lot uh, to be um, the correct uh, uh, fruit, but I didn't have time for that. I have to reformat my computer and uh, I'm gonna have to redo the whole map if I redo it. I don't know. I might wait for the update uh, on that one for the multiplayer because some of the code might change. So uh, I might I might stop playing Stardew Valley for a while until that comes out. So uh, these are the three giant crops uh, I've mentioned in my other videos: um, spring, summer, and autumn. Okay, the festival has started, now I'm gonna put it on freeze, because I don't want to miss it. Um, and you need to plant these, uh, at least uh, nine crops in a square shape. Uh, to get the result, I planted 12, so three by four uh, square uh, crops. And then I used the rain totem in order to get those. So, um, I think when your farming level is high enough, you'll be able to craft the rain totem. And in order for me to get the giant crops faster so that I can make these videos for you guys, uh, I use the giant crop ring. This is a mod. 
Uh, you can buy the ring from Pierre once you install the mod for 2000 gold and then you can also edit the percentage of success. Uh, I think the default is 30% from the usual 5% and I changed it to 90% so I can get the crops and do the videos. Um, that's about it for this area. Uh, the candy canes are retextured craftable items. Uh, so usually it's a spear. Um, you can't get it, you can't get this item in vanilla, the spears. I think you need the CBG item spawner. Uh, and also the bongos, the bongo, uh, I retextured it as a candy cane and it changes each season so I have the um, uh, immersive seasonal mod, I forgot the name of the author but the link is in the description below, it is from Nexus Mods. Um, so I did the woodland area here, you've seen it in my other videos with flowers. I put a little fire there for marshmallows. Uh, here are my void chickens and they're re-textured as uh, buff Orpington chickens. I've named them um, after uh, evil characters from different stories. As you can see here. Uh, you can make out of their eggs, you can make void mayonnaise, and you will need this for a quest, so be sure to get the void egg as soon as possible and hatch it and then make a chicken and then uh, make the mayonnaise. Uh, these are white chickens retextured as uh, silkies, and again you can make mayonnaise from their eggs. Um, I thought that the love was what counted in getting uh, iridium products, but apparently it's just how many eggs you, you collect, I think, not just the love. So, might want to keep an eye on that. Uh, and collect the eggs. I sometimes started doing other things, so I would not collect the eggs, and they would gather up and fill the barn. Uh, so, uh, these are the brown chickens retextured as um, turkeys, and I have the UI information mod, so uh, it gives me a lot of information about uh, things such as uh, the selling price, and also if an animal is loved or not. Uh, nothing too special here. These are the Junimo huts. Uh, if you press this X, they will no longer collect the um, harvest, and you might want to do that at the end of each season to prevent uh, soil erosion. So the crops stay until the 28th, and you always collect your crops on the 28th of each season. Um, these are the pigs, that was the silo. Here is a baby pig. I've uh, used the mod to retexture the pigs. Um, so there's one texture for the adults and the pigs, I chose another texture because I wanted them to... There were actually so many skins that I wanted, I would have liked to have different uh, breeds of pigs. There is a mod that does this for cows and I think it can work for pigs as well but it was so difficult to install that I postponed it until I update my mod so I would have to redo the whole farm. <laughs> uh, these are the truffles that they make. Uh, they eat hay. These are hay dryers. You can put um, fiber in it and it will produce um, hay. Uh, this is the silo, and I had the uh, auto feeder. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the shed that I was telling you about. It comes automatically with the immersive farm to mod, and it looks just like any other shed, just that it's uh, bigger. 
I showed uh, in more detail on the interior house tour so you can go watch that video if you're curious what each machine does uh, there are the custom machines mods and uh, you can find them on Nexus mod as well you can make soap and pasta and other things uh, from cow milk you can make um, cheese and then you can age that cheese you need a milk pail for that um, honestly, it's not worth uh, making cheese out of Iridium products. I usually just sell them. Um, this playthrough I'm doing just so I can showcase all the awesome mods that are on Nexus mods. So I've done less of the grinding farming aspect because I've done that already in vanilla so many times that uh, I was looking more for the aesthetic part of Stardew Valley than the practical one. Uh, sheep are retextured. Uh, they're not simply white all over anymore and you can get wool from them and mutton if you have the meat mod and you can make cloth out of their uh, wool it would be nice to uh, in the update to get an option to also oh, here is the tractor where it's uh, usually at This is where it responds every day, just like the horse. So it would be nice to have a mod where it combines the cotton crop with the um, uh, wool and maybe we'll have the option to make clothing. Maybe Emily can do that for us. That would be really nice to have some extra clothing. Okay, so this uh, here is a... Um, Retexture of the table is not actually a um, meteor. The issue is that with this map, I simply never had a meteor event. On my vanilla map, I've had so many uh, meteors fall on my farm, but here uh, I've been playing for three years and I've never had a meteor. And so I put this fake one to kind of show you guys how it would look. I have so many mods and there are so many issues with all of the mods that I think um, some things are just not working anymore. For example, I've never gotten a uh, mushroom tree on my farm and that's really sad for me because I really enjoyed them. Um, so yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend you first play the vanilla mod and then you try out um, uh, you first uh, play the vanilla version of the game and then you try out mods because some things might bug and you might not get um, some items that you want and you won't even know what's causing the issue because you have so many mods so these are the mills uh, here is a little snowman in the uh, um, spring or uh, summer and autumn it is a telescope and this is the highest point in your farm and it just looks really nice. I love coming here. This is such a beautiful map. They've done such great work with the um, uh, with this map. I really enjoy it. I love spending my time there. So this is the mushroom farm that has been um, changed into a mining cart um, hub. So all of these minecarts take you to some place in on the farm for easier uh, transport. And I've also turned this area kind of into my uh, crafting smelting area. Uh, here I have all the iridium collected when I did a thousand levels in the um, uh, what's it called? Skull Caverns. So I did a thousand levels in the skull caverns because I thought uh, you had 999 levels I was misinformed you only have I mean it is endless so that is the <laughs> truth of it. it it's not limited to a thousand levels okay so this is where I plant my wheat in the summer and it looks just beautiful I really do recommend you go and watch my video now my slimes got loose for some reason I don't know why get back into your pen 
so I do recommend you go and visit that video it looks so beautiful um, with uh, the wheat and the poppies and everything it's just really gorgeous so summer farm tour that's the video I'm recommending you can find it in my gameplay uh, list on YouTube um, so again you can get iridium uh, items from uh, uh, the goats as well iridium milk okay oh no just gotta go this way and this little boat takes me to this area here and this is where I have my ducks I haven't found any mod that I liked enough to replace them I like that they have a bit of color on them all the other dock mods uh, were really brown and or white or gray and that was really wasn't really fun for me um, I am considering making my own reskin with, um, uh, as um, inspiration, the Chinese Mandarin duck, I think it's called, and it has some pretty wild colors. I don't know if they'll fit all of them in so, so few pixels, but we'll see. Depends how much time I have. So this is the um, gold clock, I retextured it. Uh, here is the uh, peacock pen. So these are blue chickens uh, that I've retextured to look as peacocks. Um, you, the blue chickens you can get from Shane. It is the eight heart event. Uh, the eggs are simple white, nothing special about them. The baby chickens do come out blue. So. Uh, keep an eye out for that. There's a 25% chance you will get a blue chicken when an egg hatches. Uh, so this is Grandpa's Shrine. Here everywhere I have uh, cherry trees and they bloom so beautifully in uh, the spring. So uh, I want to look into my spring video farm tour for that if you're curious. Okay, uh, this is the horse, this is a stable, uh, it is a retextured of the normal horse, it is the saddleback uh, breed, I'm not sure exactly on the name, um, but it is very pretty and the link is in the pinned comment under my video. Here are the bunnies, uh, they are uh, I think Dutch chocolate, the breed. Uh, again, the link is in the list. Uh, and I also have an addition, the uh, Breed Like Rabbits mod. So at the moment I have 30 of them. The maximum vanilla is 12 and I have 30. And that's why some of them are angry because they are starving. Uh, and I usually I sell the extras before uh, winter because I don't like them to be angry with me but um, um, I wanted to keep them to show you guys how it would look and it will just keep on getting uh, more and more crowded um, the, that is a baby so I put one texture from the uh, chocolate dutch for the adults and the babies I forgot the name of the breed uh, you you'll find it in the in the list. It's um, the mod for the retexture of the bunnies. You have I think um, six varieties to choose from, and I'm trying to get to that. Yes, thank you for making me room. Wow, you guys are so fat. I can't fit. Okay, so even though some of them are angry at me, I can still get uh, iridium uh, color. Uh, grade uh, products. Of course, it's pretty weird that I have a um, rabbit's foot. It kind of fell off the rabbit. Uh, there is a mod to change them into mochis or Easter eggs. Um, they haven't worked for me, so I'm gonna try and 
uh, install that mod again uh, when I redo the whole farm. And here I have some snacks for them. They don't actually eat that, they only eat the hay. But still, I like to pretend I, they would eat a, a salad. Um, I haven't. Sh what I haven't shown you guys is the lower part. So this area here, and I have uh, the mining area. So. Um, the Immersive Farm 2 mod came with a list of other mods to install to enhance the experience and one of them was the Mine Anywhere on the Farm mod which was supposed to spawn stones and rocks here in this area. Unfortunately it has never done that, it hasn't worked, it spawned items everywhere else except this place. Um, Therefore, I had to improvise and kind of put my own stones and rocks here. So you can put some uh, items here. As you can see. Unfortunately, for some reason, it doesn't work to put them anywhere. So I can't put them here. I can only put them on the white spot there. I mean, this map is, has some bugs. I'm sure they will, they have eventually sorted them out, but when I installed it, um, th these were the issues, and I haven't been able to update um, because uh, then some other things would break. So I left it the way it is, and I look forward to redoing everything again with more crops and other things that I wanted that didn't work, and hopefully they will now. Uh, these are the retextured uh, dinosaurs. Um, I got the dinosaur eggs in vanilla from chests while fishing in the mountains. My recommendation is that you don't immediately give the egg to the um, uh, museum. You hatch it using the incubator here and then uh, after that, a, a dinosaur lays an egg, you can give it to the um, uh, museum. Oh, and let me show you guys how it looks. So you have normal silver, gold, and I assume at some point if there are enough hearts and you collect enough eggs, you'll get iridium. Uh, these are the meat mods. These dinosaurs are actually vegetarian, but if they were uh, carnivorous, they would probably need meat. I look forward to maybe installing a mod to turn them into um, dr uh, dragons, but unfortunately there are not that many pixels for it, so uh, might need to. Um, I say uh, enlarge the uh, texture area. I don't know if that's. Uh, possible I will try I'm not a programmer so no promises on that part uh, this is the swimming area and it works just like the spa um, up here in the mountains that opens in the second year of playing I think and it increases your energy but you have to sit still for that to happen of course I am at full energy so uh, nothing is going to change about that. This is my favorite area, I have to admit it looks so pretty in the summer and the spring. Uh, I really enjoy spending my time there. Mm, showed you I think uh, pretty much everything on the main map. Ah, the, the greenhouse. So this is the greenhouse, uh, like I said there's a mod for extra trees on Nexus mods, I haven't been able to install it because I need space core 1.5 and I have 1.2 because that's the one that the immersive farm <laughs> uh, works with, so yeah I look forward to um, redoing everything. and get the multiplayer so I can play with my sister and my friends and 
who else wants to join us? Uh, it's best to take these out, the seeds, uh, otherwise they're just gonna grow all over the place. Uh, this is the slime um, hutch. Uh, the slimes eat water, so you have to feed them with water. Now, I don't know if it's one of my mods or the fact that I put my uh, fence here, but they haven't produced... They have never produced slime for me. So it's this thing, slime bowl, and then it cracks open and you get some monster loot. And for me it has never done that, so I suspect it's either a mod conflict or the uh, gate here. And look at those two, they're making a baby. Um, or not, maybe the pen is full. I think you have a limit of 20 slime, so I guess if that limit is reached uh, they can do all the love they want, but no more babies are gonna come out of it. And here I have some extra slime he as well. Um, I put every color in the um, slime egg hatcher, and this is what results. Uh, they lose their saturation, uh, get like these ugly gray colors. I'm not too fond of them. Uh, but I still I kept them to show you guys what happens if you put all of the colors together. That's kind of what you get a uh, modeled uh, beige. Uh, this is the Neko Cafe I've shown you in the other videos. Um, I'm not gonna go in now, I'm just gonna show you what it is. Uh, it's a um, cafe with cats. I retextured the scarecrow so they look like cats. Uh, here again, Junimos collect coffee and tea during uh, spring and summer and autumn. Uh, the tea is a uh, custom crop, coffee is vanilla. Vanilla meaning or the original game. This is kind of my secret forest area. Uh, I like to come here and fish. It's a really nice area. It looks lovely during the night time. And this is where I uh, plant mushrooms uh, when it's not winter. Uh, there are custom crops to grow mushrooms as crops and therefore they can only grow outside of um, the mine so they grow uh, in the dirt only on the farm. And here is, uh, like I showed you guys before, the mine carts and where they take you into different areas. So now I'm gonna take the horse and go to the um, fishing festival. And there you will, I will show you guys how I do my fishing. I hope I didn't forget anything to show you on the farm. Mm. I always feel like I forget something and sometimes I do forget to show you some parts of it. When you're ready to compete, I am ready now. So yeah, this is a pretty tricky one, you don't have to throw to the maximum. Uh, usually I go and fish in that one over there uh, because nobody uses it and I don't get any conflict with the other holes, uh, the other fishermen. And today's a bad luck day. Oh, this one's easy. I don't even need to press. So I do have maximum on my fishing, so it's 10. Ugh. The most I've ever gotten was 7 fish. I try to get more, but I've never been able to. And I just press gently. So if you do have fishing level 10, I probably it's a lot easier than if you were a complete beginner.
so I just leave it be and I only press, uh, I click left when uh, it uh, appears like it's going to go outside of the bar. And you gotta be quick and press when, uh, when you hear that sound so you don't lose it because otherwise you will lose uh, the catch. As soon as you hear that sound you gotta click on it. So it's always left click on the mouse. I don't know for controller. Uh, I'm sure the instructions are somewhere on the internet. Probably the wiki. I think it might be X. <sighs> I hope I caught enough fish because I was talking most of the time. So I wasn't being, <laughs> being I wasn't able to concentrate very well. And I didn't see how many I caught. <sighs> Yay, eight slimy fish. Oh, okay, so I got eight. <laughs> Uh, wasn't as unlucky as I thought. So when you win you get some money and some fishing equipment. I got the fishing equipment already on my first uh, time I won. So I'm not getting those anymore, I'm just getting the money. So that was it. Um, apparently it's not dark yet, even though it's 9 o'clock. Did something... Oh, I have the freeze time uh, thing. Oh, it's, uh, it's still 9 a.m. Ah, uh, now I get it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I might have screwed up the time there. I think it usually sends you home at night. Uh, not so early. So again, be careful with uh, the mods you use. Uh, Sometimes they might bug a quest. This time everything worked out, so it was nice. I got to show you guys uh, how to fish as well. Hope you understood my um, explanations. If there are any other videos you guys would like me to do, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, after I uh, reformat my computer, if, if I reinstall the farm and everything else and I update the mods, I will try and use the makeshift multiplayer mod, uh, get some more videos done then uh, with uh, more mods to showcase. Um, and to answer more of your questions and other things um, you have asked me before and explain some stuff, if you want a more technical tutorial uh, type of uh, video, let me know as well. Um, hope I've answered your questions, hope you've enjoyed the video, and I wish you a lovely day. Bye bye everyone!